Hi, this is Suresh Kunturu. In this video, I would like to explain about JSP implicit objects. In our JSP tutorial, so far we covered JSP introduction and lifecycle methods of JSP and the JSP API scripting elements. Now we'll see JSP implicit object. These JSP implicit objects are very important. Let's see one by one. Yeah. JSP implicit objects. In JSP, we have nine implicit objects. These objects are created by the web container that are available to all JSP page. These objects can we can create in servlet in JSP. You no need to create internally web container only it creates. Yeah, we'll see one by one nine implicit objects. This is out is implicit object. This is object of JSP writer. This JSP writer class resides in javax dot jsp package yeah internally web container creates jsp writer object out yeah what is out we'll see later next request this request object the type of http servlet request next response type of http servlet response Config the type of servlet config application type of servlet context session HTTP session and page context the type of page context page type of object exception type of Trouble. These are all the nine implicit objects in JSP. Yeah, we will see one by one. But you know, first out implicit object for writing anything data to the buffer. JSP provides an implicit object named out. It is the object of JSP writer case of servlet we need to write like some print writer out equal to response dot get writer but in jsp we no need to write like this code directly see example in html code we can write just we use out dot print like print ln just Pass something here print the current date system date system time yes yeah. this is the use of out implicit object next object implicit object request yeah the JSP request is an implicit object HTTP servlet request. Therefore, it creates for each JSP request by web container. Yeah, you know, request object is created by the web container only. For each request, 